Hey, what up, YouTube? The Axe is your boy Daddy Easy, aka Crash Over, otherwise known as iPod Jailbreak Hacker. And as you can see today, I'm inside the pit doing knives only training. <laughs> okay, um, as you can see, I'm inside the pit. Sit down, you sit down, and sit down. <laughs> um, basically, this is just a little bit of training that I put myself through. I say not on an everyday basis. But when I get a chance to, I have to use my gun right there. I mean, those are only two targets that I have to use my gun. But, um, as you can see, just using my knife. But, like I said, this is the train I put myself through. As you can see, I'm moving through this course very fast. Um, it's because I perfected myself through speed, agility, quickness. And basically, to be able to move this quick on it, you gotta have fast reaction time to be a knife only person. So, I mean, anybody can do it, but it's just about taking out that person before the next person takes you out. Um, right here, I'm just doing a fast accuracy thing, making sure. Um, I can actually clear this level like in 29.9 seconds, I believe. I think that's the record I hold on this one. So, using my gun to clear the answer. But to get back to the topic, um, I use the pit for my training because, like I was saying, it's all about agility, use, loosen up those fingers so you be able to react quickly before the next person reacts towards you and actually kill you on the game. So, um, yeah, and I get a lot of questions during gameplay like, why do I choose to be a knife only person? To tell you the truth, I wasn't a knife only person until I say about a year ago. I'm just estimating the time, I really don't know how long. I came across somebody's webpage, not really the webpage, but somebody's page on YouTube named um, Only Use Me Blade. Everybody know my Blade. And he kind of got me into using my knife only. And to tell you the truth, because he got me into using knife only, it perfected my game, my gameplay. Not just in modern warfare, but in, but in all games. For example, um, Splinter Cell Convention. Uh, there's a mission that requires you that's like use me blade only, use my knife only. And we are probably don't know which I'm gonna upload a video sometime and either today or the next couple of days on the video of me killing everybody stealth without never using my gun period and actually it's a challenge called um I'm trying to think of it basically the challenge is you can't use a gun so it's basically eliminate all targets while never shooting your gun without firing a weapon that's what it is eliminate all enemies without firing a gun and to achieve that is hard because you need to be very stealthy you need to be fast you can't use no guns so this training what I'm doing right here actually helped me get that challenge done, which like I said I'm gonna be putting up a video. And let's go to the next scene. As you can see in this scene, I'm actually doing a mission. You're probably like, why am I doing a mission? The pit is just basically a targeting thing that gets you used to hitting the target, know where each target is gonna be, and how to go about going towards them. Now, when you go into a special ops mission and you're actually doing a live mission like what I'm doing right now, um, you gotta be very stealthy. Like if you was playing for the self convention, or if you was actually playing on multiplayer, and the other the other person is looking for somebody to kill so they can get these stats up. As you can see, I sat him down real quick. This basically is getting you prepared to play multiplayer online and getting the feel of how the AI is moving, how to actually the next person is moving so you can actually take it to the match, take it to the course, you know, be able to use it. But to get back to another topic, um, they, a lot of people ask me how do you get that, the tactical knife. Now to get back to a point, I'm going to have to bring back a blade, you can go to Blade's page on, um, on YouTube, just type in only use me blade. He actually shows you how to get the tactical knife using a um, magnum gun. The only thing you gotta do is go to the first, I think it's first class, first something, first, I I'm really don't remember the name is, but almost the first one with the magnum on it already has tactical knife on it. Just by getting a hundred knife kills, you automatically unlock tactical knife with the magnum and you be able to create a class instead of using the class that they prepared for you. 
and it actually it puts it up that you can I believe you can unlock the magnum very quick and just by completing some of those you can unlock more stuff but um like I said using my knife only is that's as you can see I just stabbed both of them in front of each other and they never know what happened if you're playing multiplayer the substitute for not being able like if I was playing multiplayer right now not being able to use marathon run or lightweight on be able to use ninja I'm doing a lot of crouching so I'm able to sneak through and do it like if it was multiplayer because in fact they don't know when I'm there it's like basically using cold blooded pro that they can't even see me on my radar screen and I'm just taking them out now as you can see these two right here I wish I had a throw knife so I could have threw one at one of, one of them and took the next person out with a gun I mean with a gun with a knife just run up shank them real quick <laughs> but um like I said using knives only is best it perfects your gameplay not only just for Call of Duty games but in any game that you gotta use silent kills sneak up behind you it helps you with like I said this Call of Duty 4 Splinter Cells um, Black if you are into the PlayStation 2 games any game basically that has a knife and it will help you perfect yourself to the next level of the training like I said this helps you this is just the training movie video show you how to do this but this part right here I'm kinda of upset with myself right here I sit him down not realize that it was another person over there I see this guy instead of stealthing I ran at him and as you can see it was another person behind me shot me in the back and the reason why I did it because there's nobody left and that's the end of this video right here so catch up with my next video check out Spinner Spell Convention and I'll catch you later it's your boy Daddy Easy aka Crash Over Rock as well as on the Zyphon Zebra Catcher catch you later peace